Live via satellite from Hollywood, it's Rockline, the show where you get to interview the hottest stars in rock and roll. Hi, everybody. This is Mike Levine from Triumph, your guest host for Rockline, brought to you in part by Budweiser. For all you do, this Bud's for you. I'm sitting in for Rockline host Bob Coburn, and tonight, Rockline is a double bill featuring Jimmy Vaughn, Kim Wilson, and Fran Christina from the fabulous Thunderbirds. And a little later on, Mike Levine of Triumph. That's me. Get your questions ready and call us toll-free from anywhere in the U.S. and Canada, 1-800-ROCK. That's 1-800-344-7625 for those that can't spell well. And we're going to have ourselves some fun tonight. You know, the fabulous Thunderbirds have been making great music in one form or another for nearly two decades, and 1986 seems to be their year, with the band breaking big behind their Tough Enough LP. I mean, these guys have obviously made the big time now that they've done the David Letterman show, they'll be on the Johnny Carson show tomorrow night, and to top it all off, this is their second appearance on Rockline. It's my considerable ple pleasure... Pleasure is a great word, isn't it? I yes, love it. indeed. <laughs> yeah. To welcome on lead guitar and vocals, Jimmy Vaughn. How you doing, people? Hey, nice to have you, Jimmy. And lead vocals. Address postcard to this Rockline station. Every entry is eligible for a grand prize. Uh, this is Mike Levine of Triumph sitting in for Bob Coburn as your host on Rockline tonight with my guests, Kim, Fran, and Jimmy of the Fabulous Thunderbirds. Went on Rockline. We're live and nationwide. This is Mike Levine of Triumph sitting in for the boss man, BC, who happens to be vacationing in Hawaii. Well, almost vacationing, still working. But uh, I get a chance now to do my favorite thing, and that's talk like a crazed fool and answer some phone calls. So remember the numbers here. They're 1-800-344-ROCK. It's toll-free. It doesn't cost you a nickel. I'm here to take your calls. There's no one interview me except me, so I need you to help me out. So don't forget that number, 1-800-344-ROCK. Now, we're going to talk about The Sport of Kings. The latest Triumph album, myself, Rick, and Gil are extremely proud of our effort, and we're going to go right into something from it right now. This is Somebody's Out There. From the latest album, Sport of Kings, this is Mike Levine on Rockline, sitting in for BC, interviewing none other than Mike Levine. But first, we're going to take some phone calls. Let's go to Portland, Maine, where we have Mike, who's listening to WBLM. Hey, Mike. Hey, how you, how you doing, Mike? Good. Nice name. Hey, I love it. <laughs> hey, uh, you guys, I got a question about the, the name of your album, Sport of Kings and the Tarot Cards. Yeah. Um, why, why did you call it that and uh, with the Tarot Cards? And who designed it? Okay, uh, two-part question. A, Sport of Kings came out of uh, my feeble mind. Uh, see, I'm a racehorse fan, and we couldn't figure out a, a, a name of the album, a, a good title for the LP. So we went down a list of 80 names. Uh, I, I hated all of them and said, why don't we just call it the Sport of Kings and walked out of the room. And while I was gone, everybody voted, and, and that's how it came up. As far as the tower cards are concerned, that was a... Uh, a concept between uh, Rick Emmett, our guitar player, and Jeff Adamoff at MCA Records, the art director, and, and Joe Owens. And uh, all the tarot cards on there, when you look at the meanings in the tarot card book, have something to do with the word triumph in it. So they, uh, the whole conceptual thing came out of their feeble minds, and the title came out of my feeble mind. <laughs> yeah, so, I like it. Yeah, great. Super. Thanks for Thanks a lot. Thanks, Mike. Now we're heading out. Oh, we're going to talk to Vancouver. Darlene, listening to Seafox FM 99. Hi, Darlene. Hi, Mike. How are you? Good. Good stuff. Um, first of all, I want to say that I'm so proud that Triumph is a Canadian band because you guys are the best. And I got a, kind of like a two-part question. Um, myself being from Toronto, I got to um, check out the music scene a little bit, and I got to meet Scott Humphrey. And I was wondering if you could tell me what exactly did Scott contribute to your new album and if and when you guys are going to go on tour, if you're going to take Scott with you. Okay, uh, first first part of question. The A answer is Scott uh, did a lot of the synthesizer programming on the LP and uh, and did play some of the parts. And he was a dream to work with. He's a wonderful guy. And Scott, if you're listening, I'm not going to kiss you. Well, I hope he is. <laughs> you, d Darlene, you can kiss him, okay? Pardon me? You, you can kiss Scott for me. Oh. Oh, thank you. Okay, that would be wonderful. Uh, and two, no, Scott is not coming on the road with us. No. Okay, um, do you know when Triumph is going to come to Vancouver? Um, probably will be in March of uh, next year. All right, on. I'll, I'll be looking forward to seeing you guys. That's super. All right, take care. Okay, thank you, Darlene. And now we're going to uh, New York City for New York's K-Rock 92.3, and Ken is calling. Hi, Ken. Rawway, New Jersey is where I'm speaking from. Okay, I stand corrected, K -Rock sir. K-Rock is the station. Uh, Mike, I'm a 
very, very big Triumph fan. Because of my blindness and cerebral palsy, I can really relate to a song like Fight the Good Fight, if you know what I mean. Mm-hmm. And uh, I, on your last appearance on Rockline, you described the Stages album as turning a corner, as it were. What nuances are there on this record, on this new album, now that you've made that turn? Um, gee, that's a good question. Uh, I think that... Uh uh, on this album, on, once again, on a song-for-song song basis, it uh, it shows great uh, uh, improvement in in the band as writers and as uh, as instrumentalists. I think the um, the overall tone of this album is uh, um, is as up as any other album we've ever put out. Uh, I, I I think the song quality really makes a difference, and the conciseness of the tunes. We we really sort of uh, held back on a lot of things. There's no really long guitar solos. And um, uh, a- as a result, we had room for 11 songs on this record, where usually we only have room for eight. That, that is unusual to find 11 songs on a Triumph record. but uh, <laughs> I found I, it that I way. Really, I really enjoy the, the positive tone of, of all your music. I mean, uh, things like Rock Out, Roll On, and, and it's just such good stuff, and I, I just hope you keep doing it. Uh, well, I, I appreciate it, and, and I, I, I continue to hope you, you continue to enjoy Triumph. Thanks, Ken. Bye-bye. Okay, take care now. I think we're going to move on to some more music. Um, I think, well, I, what should we play? Let me guess around this. Next song. Why don't we start the first song on the album, uh, the new album, The Sport of Kings by Triumph. This is Mike Levine, by the way, talking to myself and uh, people around the country. A very weird experience for me. However, uh, I'm having myself a heck of a time, and we are going to, prior to playing Tears in the Rain, which is the cut I want to play, Remind you to phone 1 800 toll free 344 R O C K ROCK. And here is Tears in the Rain. Mike Levine from Triumph, back with myself again. That was Tears in the Rain from our new album, Sport of Kings, and we're having ourselves a panic. I got no one to look at, but the guys in the control booth, and they're just giving me a funny faces all the time. But it's, it's weird. I'm here with myself, uh, and I really have no questions for myself, so I think we'll go right back to the phones. Now, remember, the number's 1-800-344-ROCK. Now we're going to Tulsa, Oklahoma with Kenny, who's listening to KMOD. Hey, Kenny. Hey, Mike. How you doing? Good, bud. How are you? Oh, I'm great. You guys are the greatest. Oh, thank you, sir. They call me Mr. Triumph here. <laughs> ah. I'm always trying to get them to play your songs. Yeah? Are, are you successful? Do what? Are you successful? Oh, not as successful as you. No, no. I I, I mean getting getting them to play, your, oh, play yeah, our songs. They play, they play you all the time. Ah, oh, good. Yeah. Yeah, I got a good buddy there, Charlie West. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I got a couple questions. Okay, go. I wanted to know if you knew where your tour is going to start out and... Can we can we expect any new uh, things on your tour that we haven't seen in the past? Yeah, well, I can I can give you answers to both questions. I guess I can probably answer a lot of questions too. I, I I'll just run down the itinerary really quickly here. It'll only take me about fifteen minutes. <laughs> <laughs> but we're starting out in uh, Saginaw, Michigan, on September the eighteenth. And we'll be in that arena there for probably a week prior to the tour starts putting it together. But we're going uh, 18th Saginaw, 19th Kalamazoo, uh, 20th Milwaukee, 21 Green Bay, 24 Louisville, 25 Erie, Pennsylvania, 26 Columbus, 27 Cincinnati. That's September. Uh, <laughs> do you want me to get down to Tulsa? Tulsa will be on November the 15th. How's that? I'll be there. You'll be there, yeah. And as far as the tour is concerned, it will be the... Um, the show of shows this this tour it's um uh the the production will just be totally unbelievable it will blow everybody's mind probably the best laser show ever seen by man in, in a in a rock and roll forum and that's not that's not hype and that's no kidding there's a whole bunch of new technology that we're bringing out and i think uh it will meld well with the overall production right so uh it'll be hot and happening Okay, I can't wait for it. Okay, super, Kenny. Thanks for your call. Thank you. Okay, let's go to Providence, where Jim is listening to 94HJY. Hey, Jim. Hey, Mike. How doing? 
Great, and how you doing? I'm doing great, thanks. Yeah, hey, I've been in a triumph for many a year now, and you guys make the best music going around. Oh, gee, I can't, I can't take all these compliments. That's wonderful. Thank uh, you. To take it as it comes, it's true. <laughs> uh, I had a question for you on the Just a Game album. The tune Hold On, I've heard a couple of different versions of, like, the story behind the tune. Mm -hmm. It's, uh, I've heard, like, it's about, Rick wrote it about a girl who was going to commit suicide or something. I was hoping you could elaborate on the subject. No, I think uh, the, the, the story behind that, the, the song really is what it says. The song's about, um, uh, you know, hold on to your dreams is, uh, is, is the chorus of the song. And that's, that's the idea. It's, it's, it's all about uh, uh, life and, you know, wh whatever bummers you got to go through, there's always something positive that, that you can cling to and, and, and help yourself out, you know. And that's, uh, dreams are as important. If you don't have dreams, you don't have nothing. Yeah. And, uh, you know, it's important for all of us to have those things, I think, and we think as a band. And as far as the, uh, the we, we got a fan letter from from a girl that was um, uh, uh, contemplating suicide anyway. And uh, she heard that song on the radio and it totally changed her attitude and her life. And uh, she keeps in constant touch with Rick. And so it's, uh, you know, it's a, it's a neat thing to know that you've actually touched someone and changed their lives with your, with your music. Yeah, you touch a lot of people. Oh, thank you. A lot of your music. Thank you, Jim. I appreciate that. Hope to see you soon. Okay, we'll be in Providence on... Hang on, let me check my itinerary here. Providence, November 2nd. The 2nd. We'll see you there. See you in the front row. Thanks, Jim. Bye-bye. Okay, this is Mike Levine on Rockline. <laughs> Remember the number, it's 1-800-344-ROCK. And we'll have more Triumph coming up with me, Mike Levine, next on Rockline. line. We're back on Rockline, live and nationwide. This is Mike Levine from Triumph with my special guest, Mike Levine of Triumph. <laughs> and we're here today having ourselves taking some calls at 1-800-344-ROCK. That's toll-free, doesn't cost you a nickel. I think what we'll do now is probably go back to the Thunder 7 album and play a little bit of Follow Your Heart. <laughs>
Uh, it was Follow Your Heart on Rockline from uh, our Triumph's album, uh, Thunder 7. I guess that was the seventh album we made. Uh, and I think I'll interview myself now. Tell me, Mike, uh, where did you do the video for Follow Your Heart? Well, Mike, uh, we shot that in Providence, Rhode Island. It was probably one of the best live videos ever made for any of you that saw it. It was just loaded with special effects, and we had a lot of fun doing it. Anyway, now we're back to the real thing. Let's go to the phones. We have Carl calling from Indianapolis listening to Q95. Carl, hi. Hey, could be Russo. Could be. Yeah. Cooper, <laughs> you remember Carl Russo? Carl Russo. From Buffalo? Buffalo, sure. Yeah, that's me, Dad. That's it, Carl. How you doing? All right, how are you? Hey, Daddy. What are you doing in Indy? Oh, you remember the last time you were in Indianapolis, I walked in the control room and uh, and you said, uh, hey, no, on the air. That's right. Well, I'm uh, still here. I still got a job. I'm still, hard. Yeah, good for you. Playing your record, too. Wonderful things. Uh, explain to me one thing here. What do you want to know, Carl? What is Triumph's Bravery Under Fire medal? Um, that went to a gentleman named John Alexander, who's the uh, a and r director uh, in Canada for MCA Records. And he, um, uh, he got the Bravery Under Fire medal for uh, the fact of uh, uh, his, his diligence in, in pursuing the completion of the, of the uh, latest uh, effort <laughs> the Triumph made <laughs> called Sport of Kings, which without his diligence probably never would have been completed. You guys on the head with hammer handles or what? Sort of, yeah. <laughs> Come on, you boneheads. Let's go here. Do some work. That's a, that, that's a very descriptive way of putting it, yeah. <laughs> you numbskulls. You know? That's right. He, he, uh, he stayed on top of us. Anything else, Carl? Triumph album. Yeah, I said? Your favorite Triumph album as far as uh, oh, going into the studio and having all, all kinds of fun recording the album. Which was the one like you had the most fun producing? Uh, I think uh, the, the Just a Game album in 1979. That was That was my most fun one. There you go. Thanks, Carl. I'll, tell you, I'll see you when we get to Indy. Okay, now we're going to El Paso, Texas, where Pat's listening to 95.5 KLAQ. Hi, Pat. Uh, hi, Mike. How you doing? Uh, pretty good. And you? Good. How's things in El Paso? Oh, just fine. Fantastic. Uh, first of all, I'd like to know if you're going to come uh, through El Paso on this tour. I yeah. missed you last time, and I really kicked myself for it. Well, let me check the itinerary here. <laughs> I'm looking down the list. Uh, probably won't be till the new year, or it could be in November. How's, how's that for a, a very numb answer? Okay. That's about the best I can tell you at this looking stage of the forward. game. Well, you know, we're looking forward to playing there. It's a great rock and roll town. Okay, I also have another question. Yeah? Uh, a lot of the, the Triumph songs have got kind of a, a negative aspect to them, or, a, or a, a kind of a reaching for hope tone, uh, like Killing Time or Somebody's Out There. It's, it's like you're waiting for something. And I was wondering if those songs were written uh, kind of on the, on the negative side while you're kind of down and out, or if they were written after you've come through uh, problems and bad times. Well, the um, uh, the, the the first person to ever say anything about about triumph writing uh, any, anything on the negative side, but I, I suppose as you if you look at time goes by, yeah, that was uh, on Thunder Seven album. We were waiting for <laughs> to get that record completed and uh, a whole lot of legal hassles with record companies and stuff. So you might call that a little negative, but somebody's out there uh, is definitely just a positive tune. It's uh, it's it's like a hold on in its uh, yeah, in its well, approach. It, it, it kind of takes a look from the negative side reaching for the, the positive you know right yeah well that's uh, that, that's okay too if you start negative and go positive that's fine yeah okay well thanks a lot okay thanks pat take care now okay i think uh, this is mike levine from triumph and we're live on rockline and keep those calls coming at 1-800-344-ROCK toll free this is rockline on Rockline. This is Mike Levine from Triumph interviewing none other than Mike Levine from Triumph. It's a solo show tonight. Bob Coburn's on holidays. And I think we'll go right into some music now from the new album, Sport of Kings. This is a song called Take a Stand. <laughs> Now 
me and hooked on you. I think that those numbers 1-800-344-ROCK toll free and I think we'll go right now to the phones to Orlando Florida where my good friend uh, Brad Messick at WDIZ uh, Scott's calling hi Scott hi how you doing all right how about you great thanks finally after two years of trying to get through yeah uh, you made it um I'd like to know uh, the, the two songs I love off this album are don't love anyone else but me and hooked on you I think that those two should be your singles but yeah. um I'd like to know why you went for outside help with uh, Don't Love Anyone Else But Me. Well, we had um, uh, a, a couple of songs that we were working on not come quite through to fruition, and uh, that song came in with about eight, eight million other submissions uh, for, for potential consideration by us. And uh, we thought we could do a pretty good job on it, and uh, so we went for it, and it made it to the record. You know, we just go with the best of what we recorded. It is an excellent song. I really like it. I'd also like to know why, uh, or if you plan it in any videos, this time around. Yeah, we're just going to, uh, we're in the process now of, uh, of, of creating a video for um, for somebody's out there, and there'll be one for Tears in the Rain and probably one or two others as well. How's that, Scott? Okay, thank you. Great, thanks for your call. Okay, uh, now we go to Philadelphia for uh, where Mike's listening, 94 YSP. Okay. Yo, Mike. Yo, um, right. two questions for you. First okay. One, uh, you guys only have three compact discs out at the moment. Are you planning to release any more other than um, Sport of Kings? Uh, the, Sp the Sport of Kings uh, con CD will be out the first week in September, and the entire catalog should be available on CD by Christmas time. Is that going to be um, the American Rock and Roll Machine, or is it going to be both Canadian? No, the American one. Too bad. Yeah, I know. Second question I got for you. I have a rock the, um, Canadian Rock and Roll Machine a silver disc of it. I'm wondering, what was that printed for? Is it a special edition? Or yeah, there was, uh, there, there was 20,000 of those made. It was a limited edition. They were signed, but not numbered. <laughs> All right, Mike? That's it. Okay, thanks for your call. I think that's just about it for me. I got I to gotta go through a little bit here. If you want to get in touch with us here at Rockline or any of the artists that appear on the program or maybe write or tell me how good I was as a guest host, and I do that, please, drop us a line at Rockline, P.O. Box S, Tarzana, California, 91356. And I hear laughter through the control room window, but that's okay. Uh, next week on Rockline, your official host, Bob Coburn, will be back. But I may get his job. You never know. Uh, with a couple of members of Vice House, plus uh, another special guest to be announced. And also... Coming up soon on Rockliner, Bon Jovi, R.E.M., and a whole lot more. And don't forget, Triumph will be hitting the road in September, October, November, December, January, February, and March. And we'll look forward to seeing you out there. Thanks again to Jimmy Vaughn, Kim... <laughs> God, I'm so crazy. I can't believe I can read this fast. <laughs> <laughs> I've lost my mind. Yes, indeed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Kim Wilson. Yes, Kim, you're a wonderful guy, and I love you. <laughs> Fran Christina, the fabulous Thunderbirds. It's been a lot of fun guest hosting Rockline tonight. This is Mike Levine of Triumph, and I'll be seeing you soon on the road. Good night, everybody. Rockline has been...